got a man, myself a cheerleader, who's always right there when they need me. Oh, hi. Hala, 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 hala. How you doing? When I said, Maja, well, today, I had gone to play basketball just to keep fit. And who do I find on the court? Javi Bwesige, one of our best producers at Soul Media. And I decided, why not get up close and personal with him so that you guys at home can actually get to know who Javi Bwesige is. He is. Uh, for a brief start, he is the guy behind, you know, all the deep voice you usually hear, like, Emisinji, no man, I'm a child, she's a deal. One of the producers sold media and he's very good if you ask me. First of all, do us a couple of your voice. What up everybody? This is your boy Javi from Salt Media. What's good? Yeah. I'm enough here using my I'm speaking. Tell us about your voice. Did you train for your voice? No. Actually, my daddy used to do bass in the choir. So as I was growing up in like primary six there. I just told God that I need a voice like that. Well, Debbie, I see you're very good at, you know, spitting rub. Why did you do rap? Why did you go for production? Well, the music itself, it's its very, very urban, first of all. And the country... What do you mean urban? My friend, we're also urban. What are you saying? Yeah, but it's just a few of you <laughs> that, that understand and appreciate our music. No, but I'm saying before, you know... You I'm don't telling you, I was, I was kicked out of the... I, I, I was denied a pulpit because of hip-hop. And I've seen uh, urban gospel artists that have been kicked off the pulpit because they don't understand their dress code, their hair, and the type of music they do. Some people think this music is for the devil. So, uh, besides that, someone uh, invites you to their church to minister, and uh, they just want to shake your hand. And yeah, yeah, they, they, they don't facilitate you. They don't. It, it doesn't pay off. Maybe it has started right now when I'm old school. <laughs> you know, yeah. When you're old school, clearly. Uh, there's a new breed right now, so. I'm more in production. You're very young, no worries. You're very young. He's very young, and he speaks good rap. I can say. You should I'm know my age. Maybe you will stop calling me young. Age. Yeah. On that note, we shall not get into age. Cause. <laughs> yeah. So production. How long have you been in production? I think it should, should be like like eight years now. Yeah, I started very humble. Um, I started with music production, as I say, and then um, along the way, someone just, I called up someone, actually, uh, his name is Dr. Sudi. Shout out to Dr. Sudi, because he introduced me to, he introduced me to the game of media. He helped me discover myself via my voice. You know, I had the power, I had the voice, but I didn't know how to control it. Yeah, different uh, adverts require different energies and all that stuff, so he told me, he told me that. So one day I just called him up and... Someone had told me that he deals with adverts. So I was like, okay, I'm going to call this guy up. And the first thing, I'm sure the very first sentence I'm going to say, he's going to be amazed. So I just pulled my deep voice game, deepest voice game on him. And it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I want you to come and give me your voice in an advert right now. And that's power to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I do relate. Well, tell, tell us who's Javi Bwesige. Where did you come from, first of all? Because you've come and, you know, hit the scene. And we want to know where did you come from? Which schools did you attend? Like, we want to relate with you. Um, I'm a very humble guy from a very humble background, humble family. Though I have a very big heart, very aggressive heart. I, I, my, my, no, no, not, not the physical heart, but yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um... I come from a family of uh, like 13. <laughs> 13. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in my mother, we were five. 
yeah, we were five, and uh, I went to I went to Lubiri SS. Yeah, I went to uh, Makindi SS. I went to to Makere University, a adult edu. <laughs> One of the highlights is actually uh, almost didn't finish my A level. I spent a whole a whole year uh, without paying any coin because I was very unprivileged. Uh, my I lost my dad in uh, 2000. I was in S4. Uh, it was pretty hard. My mama had to hustle to put two kids through school. Uh, one, uh, my older sister, had to drop out to leave me to continue. Uh, it was. It was really hard, you know, uh, and in that time I, I wasn't even born again. So I was living on, I was feeling on frustration, I was feeling on hopelessness, like there was no hope. I was living day by day. I, I thought there was no way out and I was starting to, to, to feel comfortable with it, like, okay, we'll see. Next year, if I return to school, so good. The other year, whatever, like, yeah, I almost, I actually almost um, joined primary teaching and at that time, there was no hope at all. I got a scholarship to, to go and train in primary teaching, uh, but then that was the time I had just given my life to Christ. And the hope was renewed. The hope was renewed. Um, I could say, my, um, when I lost my dad at, uh, at uh, 2000, 2000, when I was in S4, it was really bad. And uh, I thought that was it. Well, how was life at home? Mom, uh, mom didn't work? Uh, she worked, but she was a casual laborer, and then uh, she was a very humble Anna. She had a very big heart. Yeah, of course we would struggle to go through a day. But uh, I thank God that, you know, I got on my feet. It, was, it hasn't been easy because I got saved in 2003, and uh, I'm, it's been a journey. Of preparation, and it's been. I've seen God preparing me. It's been a journey of preparation. It's been a journey of being taught, being prepared for, you know, a very, very, very good cause, right? And uh, I, my employment started with. Uh, but I refused to go for primary teaching. Why? Because primary teaching is also so bad. At that time, I had just gotten saved, and I had these friends. They were rich. They were well off, and they had started uh, uh, looking out for jobs for me. Yeah. So I had just applied with International Hospital Kampala and then we were waiting for a reply a response for the, from them. So I just told my mom, no, I'm not going for primary teaching. She was so pissed off she almost kicked me out. Because <laughs> I think she must have been thinking yeah, now this frustrated. Boy. She thought she was doing what's uh, best for, for the kids, but I just I just jumped. Um, fortunately two weeks later, International Hospital calls me. I go there, I start as a volunteer uh, in records, I did statistics, I performed very well, I did stores management, I performed very well, I did, they, they even gave me an uh, accounts assistant, I performed very well, they took me back to school, I went back to school and I finished, that's why I, and I, I did my show entry. I know that somebody to say, uh, someone may say all oh, that didn't satisfy your heart, growing up what did you want to be, what did you want to do? When I was in primary four, there was this one day that we stood in front of student teachers. Remember student teachers? And I rapped before them. I did music before them. Still, when I was in primary. I I, I, which song did you rap to? I, those were days of once upon a time, the DJ said, well, what? I, 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 that's all I remember of the rhymes that I wrote. Yeah, those were days of DJ Berry, DJ very old school then along you're quiet because you have you don't relate <laughs> what kind of child were you why you a very naughty child why you an introvert like i see you today because today you're so you're so into yourself i don't know is that the character you've built after after being who you are today or way back you are an introvert no i was always a quiet person i was always reserved it takes very long for you to piss me off and for me to react so um, and it has gotten me out of trouble so many times yeah I, i've always been an introvert like 
I don't think it's, it's that bad though. <laughs> say to yourself like you're always quiet like the first time i saw you i was like ah this guy now very quiet but the voice that comes from within you was like what we didn't know to judge the book by its cover because at the end of the day me. you have to get to know me to you get close to me for for you to know my story and for me to to open up to you and yeah it takes a while yeah i don't just shout at anyone i don't just open up to anybody give us scenarios where your mom beat you and why <laughs> I used to throw stones so much. Yeah, I used to. There was this time I, I, I hit I hit someone with a stone at the back of their uh, their head. Um, the mom reported me to my mom, and you know, <clears throat> you lie. Uh, she told me to lie down. She gave me like 20 strokes, and you're not you know you're not allowed to get up and run. Otherwise, they will turn into 40. Yeah, so that that is one of the so 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 many times, but. Yeah, I used to hit people with stones so many times. And another time I hit someone with a stone still at the back of their head. They even had... You always targeting people's heads. Did you want them dead? What was wrong with you targeting people's heads? I was always a small guy. And so, I made it, amongst my friends, I was the smallest. In the community, I was one of the smallest and the weakest. So, you need to have a gun. Yeah, you need to have a certain gun for you to defend yourself. Yeah, I couldn't fight them. So uh, a stone would like do the job. Before you fast forward to the future now, uh, tell us what back then. You must have been, you know, a heartbreaker. <laughs> do not watch if your if your name is I V Y. Do not watch this part. Just let us watch it. At base. Tell us about you know, those days. Don't we have a commercial break to go for? Like like. <laughs> We don't have a commercial break, <laughs> just tell us uh, what was it like, what lines did you use, you know, to, eh? Um, anyway, on a real, um, no, I was never a heartbreaker. I was, I was never a heartbreaker. I, I, I just didn't have, I, it was just in me, since, since I didn't associate with many, even with the girls, I didn't really associate much with them. Yeah, you know, you could get uh, signals and stuff, you know, but just because... You I'm would throw them, you would throw signals, or they would throw back. This is a lie, a lie, a lie, Javi. No, 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 seriously. Uh, but I used to, somehow, I used to just brush them off, play them off. And I didn't even know how or why, but I just, that's what I did. And someone could actually not believe that I... Okay, I don't know. <laughs>